everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a knit-like crochet scarf. The free written pattern can be found on my website at julesandjones.com and the link for that will be in the description box below. Let's get started. You will need 318 yards of a super bulky weight yarn. I'm using a line brand woolly stick and quick yarn in the color Fisherman. You're also going to need a 10.0 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. Our first step in crocheting our scarf is to make a slip knot. So go ahead and grab your yarn and we're going to wrap the yarn around our finger twice. Now we're going to take the back piece and push it over to the front piece. Now we're going to take our front piece and push it over the back piece and then over your finger. All right, then pull tight. Then go ahead and take your crochet hook and insert it through that loop just like so all right and then pull tight one more time okay and so now you have a slip knot all right so now for our pattern we want to start off by chaining 143 okay so wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it through that loop that is one chain okay so now let's go ahead and make our second chain and continue to do this until you have 143 total. Once you have chained 143, you want to then make one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook for our first row. So we're gonna skip the first chain and make a half double crochet into the second chain. So go ahead and yarn over, insert our hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook, one, two, three, Yarn over one more time and pull through all three loops for a half double crochet. All right, so now we're going to make our second half double crochet. Okay, because the first row is just going to be a row of half double crochets. All right, here we go. Yarn over, insert our hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, and that's our second half double crochet. Now continue to just make half double crochets for the first row. Once you have made row one, you should have something that looks like this. And so now we're going to start our row two. So for row two, you want to chain two, one, two, then you're going to flip your work. Okay, so now we're working on the back side of our scarf, and row two is just made up of half double crochets in a third loop. Okay, so that's the only stitch you're gonna be making for the whole entire row. So to find the third loop, it is going to be this loop right here. So instead of working in the two front loops like we did for the first row, you're gonna be making a half double crochet in this back loop right here. Okay, this stitch is also known as the camel stitch, so you might know it in that form, um, but I always learned it as the half double crochet in the third loop. Okay, so here we go. Yarn over, insert our hook into that third loop, yarn over again and pull through that first loop, then yarn over and pull through those last three loops. All right, and that's how you make a half double crochet in the third loop. Okay, so let's continue. Yarn over, insert your hook into that third loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop, then yarn over, pull through the last three loops. All right, so you should have something that looks like this. Now, continue to make those half double crochets in the third loop till the end of the row. So once you have finished row two, you should have something that looks like this now. You're going to have these very defined little zigzags. And so now we're going to be working row three. So for row three, you want to go ahead and chain two. We're going to turn our work to the front side. And so now you should also see some very defined little V-stitches. Okay, and these stitches mimic knit-like stitches. Okay, so once you have chain two, now we're going to work half double crochets in the back loop. All right, so who knew there were so many different ways to work a half double crochet? So the back loop is going to be right here. So I'm pushing over my scarf to the front so I can see my two loops right here. And this is the back loop. All right, so that's where we're going to be working our stitch in. 
And so the third row is going to be made up of half double crochets in the back loop. So go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook in the back loop, yarn over again and pull through, then yarn over and pull through those last three loops. Okay, and that's how you make a half double crochet in the back loop. All right, let's do it again. Yarn over, insert our hook into that back loop, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so now continue to make those half double crochets in the back loop until you get to the end of the row. Once you have finished row three, you should have something that looks like this now. And so now the pattern just becomes a series of repeats. So you're going to alternate between row two and row three until you reach row nine. So row nine will just be a repeat of row three. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and then I will meet you right back here. All right, so I have just finished with my repeats and so now we have one more row left, so row 10. And row 10 is going to be made up of slip stitches. All right, so let's go ahead and chain two, one, two. We're gonna turn our scarf around because we're working on our back side. Okay, and so we are going to make a slip stitch into that first stitch. So go ahead and take your hook, insert it through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through one more time. And that's how you make a slip stitch. Let's do it again. Insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through that last loop. All right, and now continue to do that until the end of the row. All right, once you finish row 10, you should have something that looks like this. And so now you're completely done with the pattern. So all that's left to do is just close our end. So go ahead and cut your yarn. Make sure you leave a long tail end. Wrap your yarn around the hook and pull all the way through. Okay, and then just pull tight to create a knot. And now all you have to do is just work in this tail end. Okay, so now you're officially finished with this scarf. I really hope you enjoyed making this pattern with me. I hope you get a lot of use out of this one. I can't wait to see what you guys all make. And don't forget, you can find all the pattern notes and directions at the link in the description box below. See you next time. Bye.